and welcome back to Libbib's channel. My name is Kaylin and today I'm going to be doing my top five fall releases that are being released this fall and I'm so excited and also today is the first day of fall so happy fall everyone. Today it's supposed to get up to 84 degrees so it's not really fall weather but I'm really excited that it's still warm and that I can actually wear capris and shorts and it just feels glorious right now but I'm kind of excited for the fall weather I see there is a tree in my backyard that's starting to change and so I'm really excited for fall leaves and sweaters and to begin this top five fall release video I'm going to actually be giving a runner-up and the runner-up is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets the illustrated edition by JK Rowling and Jim K I think that's who does the illustrations this book comes out August 4th I'm not as excited for this as I am the other books on the list that's why it's a runner-up because Chamber of Secrets is not my favorite Harry Potter book but I'm still really excited to see what they're gonna be doing with the illustrations and I can't wait to reread the books. And now to kick off our list. Coming in at number five is A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir and this book was one of my favorite reads last year, I think. I remember really enjoying it last year during May when I read it and I have literally forgot everything that has happened in the first book. So therefore I'm gonna to have to go through and read I'm thinking about rereading it or I might just skim the last couple chapters so that way I can get a refreshment, watch a couple book review videos, and then dive into this. But this is the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes and I think there's going to be two more books in this series but they don't come out for another two years so that's kind of upsetting so I don't know if I want to read it quite right away not but I'm just excited that this was released it was released back in August so it's already out so you can go and pick up your copy I coming in at number four is a book of mine that I am so so excited for but I haven't read the first book so I'm a little behind on this series as well the reason why I'm so excited for number four being on the list is because the cover is stunning and the pages are just beautiful so I'm going to show you the first book and I'll leave a cover for the second book but that is Crooked Kingdom and this is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo but the end pages are red and the cover is stunning and oh, I haven't read this book and I'm going to be reading it. I can just binge read them and I'm so excited because a heist book just sounds right up my alley right now and so I'm really excited for this book. I haven't read the first book but the hype is real and it's on my list. Crooked Kingdom doesn't come out until September 27th so that is next week so you can go pick up your copy then. The next book that I have I thought it would be coming in at number three I thought it would be higher on my list but ended up not being and that is The Amateurs by Sarah Shepard and I really thought this would be higher on my list but turns out it is not because there are more important books on this list that were made the top two spots. I'm really excited for this book. It's probably like all her other books where someone goes missing or someone dies and they have to solve the mystery or the riddle or whatever and I don't know it looks like a fun read. I haven't read it yet. I know shame on me but hopefully I will get to this in October so that way I can give you guys a review when it comes out on November 1st. Coming in at number two is a new book by Stephanie Meyer which comes out on November 15th which I am super excited for because I love Stephanie Meyer. I was going to read the Twilight book that came out last year where it's gender swapped or whatever and then I just I started it but never finished it and I don't reread books often so I really want to reread the whole Twilight series. That's what I want to do and just love Twilight. I read half of The Host but never finished it but I'm excited to get on with The Chemist. The Chemist is basically a mystery thriller adult novel that talks about an ex-US agent and now she's on the run and I'm like mystery thriller my slice of life and so but yeah it's number two on my list because Stephanie Meyer, The Chemist, thriller, mystery, it's all in there and I'm just mm, so pumped. And coming in at the number one spot is The Fever Code by James Dashner which comes out on September 27th. This book takes place before the maze and it shows like Thomas and everyone like before the maze and how they like started up the maze and stuff and I'm just I'm so pumped with excitement. What I've noticed recently when I read The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken, I just want a book that takes place like before before everything happens, like in Hunger Games, Divergent, like it takes place in this dystopic 
dystopic setting, but how did we get here? Like, what was the beginning part? And that's all I want to know, and hopefully this book fulfills my wishes and dreams and wants and everything and more with this installment. I'm so pumped for this book. Please don't let me down, James Dashner. Anyways, that is it for my 2016 fall releases that I most anticipated for top five. Yeah. Anyways, what are your favorite fall releases that you're looking forward to this fall? Don't forget to leave a comment in the description. <laughs> Don't forget, to, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below. There we go. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out all our other links where you can find Labib on other places such as Twitter and Instagram and the Labib website. And anyways, I will see you next time with a new video.